let's activate the chief physician's terminal. Um, so Vault 87 chief, chief sorry, uh, physician's terminal, Dr. Wayne Eric. Alright, entry 87, so of course Vault 87, at dash 3419. The, the uh, latest subjects in the evolutionary evolutionary experimentation program e evolutionary experimentation that's what it's referring to while showing some promise after only a single exposure to modified FE we are currently testing five subjects two males and three females each one of them is under the 24 hour observation Hope to have a breakthrough in this brain as the general, general pressure from Voltec and the military at Mariposa is becoming most bothersome. Okay, let's see. Uh, so five subjects, or, I mean, different state, two males and three females, so 24 hour observation. And they hope to make a breakthrough in order to have less pressure put on them put on themselves by the Volt Hedge in the military at Mariposa. So it was for a um military goal purpose rather. Yeah. They wanted to like I said before, they wanted to create some uh, super soldiers. Will not uh, will not be affected affected by FEV or any kind of radioactive Prospects. Closure. And yeah. Okay, entry 34224. Incredible results. After only three days, subjects B440, B164, 64. All our female specimens are all exhibiting a change. Of course, they're not going to make give them some code. Virtual. All exhibiting a unique change. Their bodies are undergoing severe physical changes. Most of their visible female features. Their bodies are undergoing severe physical changes, losing most of their visible female individuals and transforming to almost sexual state. Wow. They are also seeing increased upper body strength and muscle formation in line with. Similarly, subjects C376A541, our male specimens, are losing most of their visible male indicators and taking on the same asexual state as a female. It seems that the FEV wishes to level the playing field. Start with a clean slate as Sexual. So, all these super mutants that have been fighting, whether whether it be normal super mutants, brutes, masters, it could be male or female. I mean, they're all sexual now. It could have been male or female specific. That we don't know. Entry 34233. We've had a minor setback. Had a minor setback. <clears throat> Subject B440, Mary Kilpatrick, now deceased. According to my autopsy, died of a massive loss of brain fat and was unable to sustain her basic bodily needs. The usual pattern we see in all the FEV trains we test. 
brains of all the subjects becoming too damaged to support even the most basic human needs eating, sleeping, etc. So far, all of his subjects are nominal. We need to exhibit physical changes. What did they do? That is sick. That, that, that. I mean, all these fermentations that happen in by the bolts, whether it be reptile or or in plain view like this, this is a sick game. I seem to be enjoying it. I seem to be enjoying it. It's crazy to say the least. Entry three four two six five. At 10 days, we are now noticing that the skin of all of our remaining test subjects is really thickening, becoming more resilient. It seems to be the FEV bringing about some new adaptive change. Is the kind of results um, we were looking for adaptations that should prove useful in combat situations? I need to remember to congratulate Dr. Philo on his skin uh, engineering. His coded instructions brain seem to be exactly what he expected. You though. Know, seriously? To Philo, not to marriage. We're in on this. Why are the scientists so crazy? Is it just is, is is it is it is this just a way to prove themselves superior so that they could program or control uh, a higher breed of like you know super warriors that could fight uh, communists or Chinese? I, I don't I don't remember Japanese. I don't know. Seems to me like this is some some sort of cold war or um, I don't know. So this time, yeah, bombs did drop. Um, entry three four three three five. Once again, I've hit that damn wall. At fourteen days, all of the test subjects began to exhibit severe bouts of rage and anxiety. So much so that they were a danger to my team and to this facility. I had no choice once again but to order them to be destroyed. It pains me every time this. The same cycle has been re repeated in every strain we test. We always see superior physical adaptations, but the mental changes are their downfall. Yeah, and do you see the superintendents nowadays? Sick bunch, always hungry. With all these ghoul bags lying around, related organs, related legs, mutual pulses. Crazy. I read all that. Okay. That's um. 